A 90 second breakdown, Shavkat versus Wonderboy. Here we go. So Shavkat looking for the single leg and he gets it. He manages to elevate that leg. Wonderboy is going to start jumping because from this position, a lot of the times folks will start looking for trips here, right? They'll kick that leg out from underneath you. So when Wonderboy jumps, his foot's not on the ground, but Shavkat responds brilliantly. Clubs the head. And as Wonderboy lands, drives him back against the cage, and he keeps that right leg shelf so that Wonderboy can't get his hips away through this entire sequence, right? Wonderboy can't build his base up. Shopcock constantly winning the head height battle, and he's going to weave through here eventually and capture that right wrist of Stephen Thompson. That prevents Stephen Thompson from turning into Shopcock and facing him, right? If Stephen Thompson turns towards us right now, he's risking back exposure. So Shopcock is just constantly forcing Steven Thompson into these different dilemmas. Now, he's going to keep that grip, winning the head height battle, top hook in, flattens him out and threatens with the choke. But when Wonderboy, look, elbow free, now you can start to reverse hip out and turn and face your opponent, boom, and recover some sort of guard, right? So well done by Steven Thompson, but Shavka all over him, threatening with chokes. I'm jumping ahead a little bit here, hitting him with ground and pound, again, threatening with the choke. Steven gets to the turtle, and Shavka circles around and takes the back. Now... He's going to finish this without hooks in, but you guys got to see that like Steven's getting overwhelmed here, right? Like there's a lot going on, but if Steven Thompson were to get his ass in the air and get up to both of his feet, he might shake Shavkat off the top, but Shavkat locks in the choke and he finishes things right here.